The Falklands fishing industry is the most lucrative sector of the island's economy. As such, any change to its management has huge importance to the islands as a whole. The notice to grant to local fishing companies, the ITQB, has now been published and will likely come into effect from the start of next year. This replaces the old ITQ access rights put in place in 2005 based on feedback from fishing companies. ITQ, or Individual Transferable Quota, gives each company the right to catch a certain percentage of a particular fishery for the next 25 years. The idea behind ITQ is that it increases profits while also supporting sustainable fishing. Industry were very concerned that although they had originally been granted 25 years, they could see that their vessels now 10 to 15 years into those rights now needed to be replaced. They didn't necessarily need to be replaced when they started and replacing a vessel is very expensive, for example. So the government recognised that they would need a longer period to, to repay and it might not last the period of what they had left to run. The law has been amended so that we can now provide a different type of ITQ. When I say different type, what I mean is uh, there are different criteria for you to be able to hold that ITQ. It now means that the local companies that have been granted the ITQB now have 51% ownership in, the, in their joint venture companies. That in turn brings in the revenue to the islands because, because we'll be receiving more through those companies and we'll be um, paying more in tax. So everybody benefits, you know, everybody. The man in the street, the, there isn't anybody that isn't going to benefit from the, from the additional income that is going to be achieved by, by the ITQB that's been granted for, for 25 years. There were a few visions as well as a few very functional outputs of, of when the ITQ original system was reviewed by Terra Moana and there were a suite of recommendations but some of those political visions also included how do we make sure that we get some of that revenue and keep the wealth within the islands for the benefit of the community, that also the fisheries have a very positive social aspect. But there is a question of if this method grants enough oversight to the government. Ultimately, the burden is placed on the fishing industry to regulate the amount of fish they take out of the oceans. The belief is that by being granted a 25-year licence, they have a long-term vested interest in avoiding overfishing. So the fishing industry, of course, are watching just like us and we share data and we have a very open and transparent, we've changed quite a lot in recent years. We now share with them the, the livestock assessment data as it's happening and they know roughly how much biomass is out there at any one time. And if they, they see anything that they think is wrong or concerns them, they're usually the best, they're the best police officers in, in the fishery because they have huge investments in this business. Ultimately, we're the regulator so the buck stops here, but yeah, they do police their own industry quite well. And if they see anybody they think's misbehaving, I usually get told. There are opportunities for oversight in terms of the action plan. So like I say, there was a pre-planned agreement between Falkland Islands Fishing Companies Association and the government that set out a number of different ambitions, including ocean health, um, how the community can be supported through the fishing sector. This is a kind of an agreed statutory document but it is also one that will have a point for, for review and renewal. Um, so there is oversight there um, in terms of the action plans that fall out from that accord. The ITQB access rights, once granted, will come into effect in January 2023 and last until 2048. Over the next 25 years, the structure of ITQ looks to remain the same, but the government are asserting that the quotas will be continually reviewed. What will be monitored on an annual basis is the action plans that companies have signed up to with the government in order to get their ITQB. That action plan has been approved by Exco and I have to report back to Exco every two years on progress on it. Each company has to report back to us every year on their individual action plan. So we will be monitoring continuously how this is uh, unfolding. I think it'll see the companies grow and, and we hope, you know, we certainly hope that that will by having the majority shareholding, by having, having more, in, more involvement in those, those companies that, are, uh, that have the catch entitlement to, to fish with, with the vessels that, that you, you see come into the harbour. The FIFCA Accord as well will be, will, 
<laughs> ties this all together and is an agreement, a unique agreement between the Falklands Fishing Companies Association and, and government to make sure that it can achieve all of these um, ambitions, but also hold each other's end of the bargain to help make sure the fisheries there for the long term.